Matt, we're back for a second episode. Against all odds. It's only because of the overwhelming demand, the incredible critical acclaim. And ladies, thanks for all the DMs. For every DM, a dollar goes to the incredibly high production cost of this video. Every single word but, uh, anyway, I just this said week, we're gonna do is true. It's damn true. No more ability. The prayer choke. I really love it. Um, I'm going to show first the front headlock basics because I'm going to teach doing these videos. I'm going to show a lot of front headlock stuff. I love attacking there. It's not stuff we cover as much in class. Show front headlock basics, and then I'm going to show a regular guillotine, and usually how it messes up. And that'll show why the prayer choke is so effective. Because it's like, I can break the rules guillotine. It's a cheat code guillotine, I call it. Yeah, get your camera time in, kid. Kids will be kids. Mental note. Trick that kid and let me teach him neon belly basics the next time I see him. Get there. First thing you want to do is take your hand. All right, the front headlock basics. You've gotten to the front headlock position. First thing, you got a kid strap grip on their chin. First thing you want to do is protect your hand. You're going to come out. What I meant to say is you're protecting your choking Second hand, thing, the one doing the chin strap. Elbow that's around their head. You want your elbow in tight. It's almost like, think about your, like, got a football. I can't emphasize enough that to be effective from the front headlock, you have to be constantly ready to do all these things. Your legs are away, butt's out, and this hand right here is constantly ready to take, like, take away their pose. If she starts getting up, she's going to try to pose, going to be ready to snap her down. Constantly. So those are some basic, some, some of the things that can go wrong, say your leg's too close. You leave your leg too close, then off. Leave your elbow out. Failed at snapping down enough, missed taking away their post arm. Now they get on all fours, repenetrate. Shout out to Knoxville's own Ovin St. Prue for being the only guy in UFC history to have two bomb flu choke finishes. You're coming in. You've actually blocked this side of the hip, but they just bail out to the other side. They're chasing them. You're still in a good spot, but you blocked the hip. You blocked the submission. You're still in a good spot. They're chasing them. You're still in a good spot, but you blocked the hip. So the prayer choke kills me. I'm about to show. The reason I love it, like I said, is the cheat code guillotine. It really makes the guillotine in the future like, well, the prayer choke has been around, but if you watch the UFC, you're going to see them more and more. The reason is, it breaks all the rules up there. So, <laughs> got there. All right, so you've gotten to the front headlock. You've done everything. And the guillotine is explosive. When you, you've got everything set up, you snap them down, and you feel like you feel comfortable, ready to go for it. A guillotine, the success of it is based on explosion. So I know jiu-jitsu is a gentle heart, but if you're just a gentle, flowing person, jiu-jitsu is a place for you, but the odd skills you probably aren't your thing. But on the other hand, <laughs> so, if you're a natural-born killer, this, it's going to be right up your alley. You're going for it. The thing is, you're here, you're starting to come in, you're about to connect your arms. This hand that's on the chin, it's going to go, it's going to go up, palms down, you're coming, in. coming in, connecting your hands on the S grip. Once you got this S grip, you're ripping this right here as far as you can and you're coming up. And this is why it's called a prayer choke. Right in here with prayer hands. And really, you're praying that if you like your opponent, you're probably praying that they're not going to stay mad at you because the subject is violent. <laughs> so, you've gotten here and you decided to come. Once you get here, I'm going to be, I'm doing it slow because I'll take it easy on Xander here. But when you get it, you're, like I said, you're ripping it up. You're coming right here. A lot of people attack right here, but the finish, you're actually, you know, you're worried on the regular guillotine about the bailout. You're actually stepping off to the side and you're forcing the bailout. So, like, you want to step right here, but you're pushing it over. So, we just do it one time, just quick speed, just regular speed. I've gotten here to the front headlock. I'm taking my hands. Weight on top of my opponent, legs away, butt out. She's trying to get up. 
snap her down. I just had to go for it. Rip. Snap. Crack that. Crack that. Hey, for what it's worth, <laughs> her husband's recording. He assures me that she's a real pro of getting shows. Always. How do I flip this around so I can? Give me a thumbs up. Anyway, y'all keep sending those DMs, ladies, if you want an episode for me. <laughs> but that's your prayer joke, and see you next time.